Hola chicas, how are you? Um, I am just going to do a really quick review that I've been wanting to do. I've had this for a few weeks now and it's going to be on the Neutrogena uh, Healthy Skin Foundation with SPF 20 in it. Um, one of the things that I would like to say about this is that I've never tried it before um, and as soon as I opened it up, you know, it has a, like a sunscreen type of, you know, like sunscreen, you know, type of smell to it. That's the first thing. Um, most makeup that has SPF and it has that, but it's not very strong. So it's nothing that's going to kill you or anything like that. The next thing that I noticed, which was like, ugh, no. I don't care about crazy packaging. It doesn't have to have anything like that. One flaw about the packaging that I saw was the opening. This thing is huge. I mean, it's bigger than a finger. Like, it looks like a, like a faucet, like a pipe. Given the fact that the formula is very runny it's you can hear it it's very liquidy this type of opening doesn't work the reason why it doesn't work for me or for you probably wouldn't work maybe it did is because if you just put some on your hand you have no control over it because how liquidy the foundation is it you know you're gonna waste a lot of product there's nothing for you to put on it I looked at my other foundations that I had Revlon color stay max studio fix fluid you know, drugstore, medium, high-end, I looked at them, and this one had one of the biggest openings. So I don't think that's a very good value. If this is $13.49 at most drugstores and on Neutrogena website, and, you know, you're wasting a lot of product, okay? So that's the second thing. Third thing, let's talk about the actual formula itself. I put this on, put a moisturizer on, and then bam, you know, I, I just applied it. I applied it with a brush, just real quick. Um... I kind of had to work it in, you know, it was very light, so I had to like really work it in. A few hours later, that thing was melting off. I mean, it was not good. It was melting off. And I was like, what? I went, I looked at it. It looked like, like I had put very few, a little bit of foundation and the places that I didn't want to be noticed, such as pores, had a lot of foundation in it. So it looked like I was like spray brushed airbrush the foundation which is horrible I'm like I'm glad I was running around here not outside you know cleaning cleaning and putting things away and I mean I don't want to go out like that so just by itself this thing if you have oily skin if you have pores it's gonna accentuate the pores it's gonna accentuate the oiliness it's, it's just no then what I did was this it came with this, which was Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer, also with SPF 20. This is pretty good. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's pretty good given the fact that, uh, you know, you put it on and it's like a beige consistency. You could have even kind of sort of put this on to cover your pores a little bit and then put a little bit of concealer and it evens out your skin tone a little bit. It's not the best thing. Again, super, um, it doesn't have too much silicone in it. It's not greasy or anything like that. But uh, this helps a little bit. So after I did my moisturizer, I applied this primer on, and then I went ahead and put this on. Okay, once I did that, that seemed to be a little bit better. I have it on right now. Um, I can tell you I had some... I have some acne right now, Mother Nature, whatever. Um, you can see some of my, my, my acne, like... You can see that? And you can see a mark right there. And you could probably see, like, some discoloration or whatever. Um, when you put this on, you know, if you use a primer, of course, and you do this, I didn't really put on too much concealer or anything like that because I did my, my eyeshadow, but I, these two seem to work a little bit better. Once you do that and you apply it, it has a dewy finish, not crazy dewy, like a shine. You don't want that, but it has a dewy finish. It's not completely MAC, like a Revlon Color Stay, like a, uh, MAC Studio Flix Fluid or any of those. It does have like a... A medium medium uh, coverage to it I mean and I don't think it can be very buildable because I didn't really want to put too much of this type because it's very liquidy and it seems runny so you don't want to apply too much you know um, when the foundations like that so medium coverage dewy finish um, not to be worn alone on its own after moisturizer if you have uh, just oily skin because it just you know and this is the kind of coverage you're gonna get I put powder on it but this is in the morning so this is like evening time I put powder to set it otherwise who knows but um, it, it's kind of dewy it's kind of glowy I think this would be great for someone that doesn't like who's very natural girl who doesn't like uh, anything full coverage um, 
your skin can breathe. So that's a good thing. That's why I've been wearing it a lot. I do feel that my skin can breathe a little bit. I think that's where the healthy skin comes from, that component comes from, and it's really good that it's SPF 20. So those are the reasons why I've been wearing it, and also I've been trying to use it up. But like I said, the challenges that it poses are it's tough to stay on, it's tough to control it because it's very runny, so you waste a lot of product, and um, I don't think that the price was too good. Most drugstore foundations are about $13, $12, but for someone, like I said, who likes medium coverage, I think this is a good foundation, as long as they don't have super oily skin, or if they do, they go ahead and pair it with the primer. So that is my review on the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation and Primer with SPF. And I hope you guys like it, okay? So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.